and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over my top 10 newborn must-haves. When I was pregnant, I watched so many videos on YouTube of people's newborn must-haves, and I got some different products based on that, but I wanted to make my own video so I could share with you what worked in particular for my baby because some of these things are not on other people's lists. The first thing I would recommend and the thing that was the most important to me having a newborn was an automatic rock and play. And I will insert a picture of my son in one or just insert a picture of one and also link them down below because the rock and play keeps your baby a little bit elevated so if you have a gassy baby or a baby with reflux they can help them with that. And it also rocks them. So the rock and play itself is in more of like a V shape so it's nice and cuddly for your baby and it rocks them to sleep and it moves them around. My son slept in that thing until he was at least five months old when he was so big and was so heavy that it was creaking because we did not want to take him out of it. I know some people use a regular rock and play and the baby will sleep in there but I think the automatic rock and play keeps them moving and keeps them soothed throughout the entire time that they're in there. So it is definitely a great product. The second item I would suggest are zippered sleepers. So the little sleep and plays that have a zipper on the bottom, so you can easily just zip it up and down, change your baby, zip it back. They worked really, really well. My son was born in February in the winter months, so I felt like it also kept him really nice and warm because it's cold. But they're just, it's so simple to just quickly get them in and out of these things and get their legs in and out so you can change their diaper. So I would get plenty of these. We barely used the onesies because you would have to take pants off and put them back on. It was just a big hassle, but with the zipper sleep and plays, you could literally zip them up and down and you were done. The third thing I would suggest would be the nose Frida and some saline drops. So you can just put some of the saline drops if your baby's got snot in their nose or they're congested into their nose. Wait a second for that and then use the nose Frida. So you'll put the end of the nose Frida up to your baby's nostril and then you suck in through the other side. You don't have to suck very hard. You'll see when you do it. And it's totally enclosed and there's a filter in here as well so it's not like any of the boogers are going to come out of this tube and I actually barely even go through the top of this tube. But it's amazing. You can get so much out of their noses and this is something that I still use for my son. It works so well but definitely when he was a newborn because you're afraid to use the suction things they send you home from the hospital with and they're just they seem big and they're not very delicate for the baby and it just I didn't like it but nose Frida daily drop amazing the fourth thing I would suggest and I will link it below and some photos in here I if I can are baby carriers so we used a, just a simple baby carrier from Target and you could put the whole carrier onto your body then place your baby in then strap it up that worked so so well for my son until he was probably around 20 25 pounds he started to get really heavy and i started to feel it in my shoulders with that carrier so we got an ergo baby 360 carrier and again i can link that below the only thing that's a little bit more difficult with that carrier is that you have to get your baby in it and put the last strap on but a positive of it is that it gives you so much back support. So if you have lower back pain or you already have back pain and you're thinking about getting a carrier for your baby, that Ergo Baby 360 gives you a ton of back support. You can make it really, really tight to, again, just get more support in there and up through the straps and it can be a more enjoyable carrying experience as your child gets older. The fifth thing I would suggest would be a boppy or something like that. My sister really liked the My Breast Friend and she gave it to me too. Um, I did not breastfeed for very long and I'll do a video about that too because that was interesting. You, know, you can use the boppy, prop your baby up with it while you're feeding them or if you're breastfeeding while you're breastfeeding them. And you can also use it to prop your baby to sit up in as they get older. You can stick your baby right here and help them sit up. And 
Also, you can use it for tummy time. We also used the boppy a ton while we were traveling with my son for him to sleep on and lay on, and it worked really well for that on an airplane. My sixth newborn essential would be the Owlette baby monitor. And I know a lot of people, it's kind of controversial, a lot of people think they're not necessary or they're, you know, people are being too paranoid when they get them. But I do not think so. I really loved my Owlette. There is an app on your phone and it tells you your baby's heart rate and their oxygen levels. And when my son was about six months old, he was sick, he was congested. Took him to the pediatrician and I put his outlet on him before we left to see what the pulse rate and the O2 levels were. And when we got to the pediatrician, they put their little stock um, pulse ox on him and it was reading the same exact reading. So I knew it was accurate. It made me feel really good about it. And you know, if you're an overly paranoid person or a first time parent, you might really like the Owlet. I probably will do a video solely on the Owlet because I did like it so much. And we used the Owlet Smart Sock until he started kicking with his feet. And at that point, it probably wasn't necessary anyway. I think he was a little bit over a year. But it's something that made me feel really good. Um, definitely helped me sleep easier. The seventh thing I would recommend would be a sound machine. And these you can find at practically every baby store. Again, I put a link for this below. Um, this one, they, I know they sell one just like this and it's green for babies, but this silver one is I think exactly the same thing, but it doesn't have the heartbeat setting. But you can set it to whatever you want your baby to sleep to and it just makes noise so they don't hear other things around them. And I think it's also good, it gets them in the habit of once they hear this sound, they know they're going to sleep, gets them into that routine, gets them used to that. We really love using this. My eighth newborn essential would be a Dakotot. And this is kind of like the Owlet, it's a bigger baby purchase. I know a lot of people think, oh, both of them, you don't need them, but it really depends on whatever you prefer. But the Dakotot is just a pillow that your baby sleeps in. I'm sure people on YouTube have already seen these. And I thought it worked really well for my son. You, well, before he was rolling, you could just set him in his Dakotot and go and do something quick, or he could have a toy and he's laying in his Dakotot. He wasn't gonna roll anywhere and you think he was safe. We did not use it for sleeping, but it was somewhere nice and safe that we could put him for a second and go do something and he wasn't gonna go anywhere and be able to move out of it. So my ninth newborn essential would be gas drops. So infant gas drops. And you may not need them. Your baby may not be gassy. These are like $3 at Target. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody having a baby who was not gassy at one point or another. So again, you know, make sure you talk to your pediatrician about it if you're having, you know, gas issues with your baby. These worked wonderful for our son. The only time he was really, really cranky or upset was when he was gassy. So having these, you know, on hand, keep them around. We used a ton of them um, just in case. And then my 10th newborn essential, which I'll definitely link below, is gripe water. Now, I don't know if it actually helped, but after I would give it to my son, I know that he would be a little bit happier. Um, and if you taste the gripe water yourself, it kind of tastes like sweet licorice. So I don't know if it's because it was tasty to him and it made him a little bit happier or if it actually helped with his upset stomach, bad mood, that kind of thing. It was something nice to have on hand that wasn't super expensive and if we didn't need it, so be it. But we did use it a lot and it seemed to help him feel a little better. So I hope some of these newborn essentials helped you out. I hope you heard some things that were maybe a little bit new or as you get to know your newborn, um, things that you think might work well for them. Because again, every baby's different, every mom is different, every family's different, everybody wants different things for their baby. But if any of this helped you, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. If you had some new word essentials that were different from these items, I would also like to hear about that. And if you would like to see more videos on momming and babies, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys, bye.